New exclusive video just into the newsroom showing the arrest of one of the suspects accused of participating in an identity theft scheme targeting victims of the Surfside condo collapse. And we're also getting an exclusive look at some of the machines used to carry out this cruel crime. Local tennis Rosh Lowe joins us live from Surfside with all the details you will only see on Local 10. Rosh. Louis, we have so much for you this afternoon and all of this just coming in. For the first time, we are actually hearing from a suspect in these identity thefts. Let's get right to that video right now. Take a listen. They are arresting. They are How? What? No, 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 no. Sir, no, no, no. You have to tell me what I'm getting arrested for. I'm a hundred percent sure I'm not on your. Well, order. or they're gonna talk to you anyway. I, no, I, you treating me like I'm, a tra I'm transporting then, you. Then can I talk to the person here? No, you're gonna, you're gonna have the, the station to talk to them. No, okay? bro. No, no, no. Because yeah. I'm innocent. Uh, I want you to know that guy, according to cops, is Nelson Garcia Medina, 20 years old. They say he used the name of a person killed in this collapse to buy a $130 pair of sneakers. He said he was innocent. In the meantime, more exclusive information we're getting right now. Let's get right to this. And this is very interesting. After the cops went in and they served these search warrants, take a look at what you're seeing on your screen. They found a full scale operation, they tell me, complete with a credit card machine that embossed the names, birth certificates, blank checks, a credit card maker. They say these people were absolute professionals. Now, Garcia Medina's arrest comes after the arrest of uh, Betsy Alejandra Cacha Medina, Kimberly Michelle Johnson, Rodney Choate, 38 years old. They each face about 15 to 30 years if convicted of all these charges. We just spoke to Surfside Police, who's releasing all this information. Let's take a listen to Surfside Police. When we executed the search warrant, um, many things were found. Um, detectives found large quantities of mail, and credit cards, all in the names of the victims. Credit card making equipment was also located with designer shoes and handbags, narcotics, and even a firearm. Now, we just got a lot of these photos, which we showed you briefly, but it's really worth noting when you look at the photos, the effort that went into this. And once again, this community of Surfside going through so much pain, so much tragedy, and then to see this, absolutely heartbreaking. Surfside police telling me they worked around the clock with their partners at Aventura Police to solve this case. And by the way, they say their investigation is ongoing. Stay with Local 10. All this exclusive information coming up for you throughout the afternoon. For now, we're live in Surfside, Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.